this is Zach and Wyatt, and today we are doing a Mustang, and uh, it's a pretty cool Mustang. It's uh, oh shit, look out, he's gonna kill us, get out of the way! Hey, this is Zach and Wyatt. And today we have a super dangerous car here for you guys today because it is none other than a Mustang. Who are you and what is this? What is this? This is my 2012 V6 Mustang and my name is Kevin. <laughs> and it's the crowd hunter. It definitely <laughs> hunts crowds, it kills people and it does. You're probably, we're probably standing in front of it. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, tell us about your V6 Mustang. So it has some suspension done to it. It has Eibach shocks and Eibach oh, yeah, springs. Cool. It also has a Roosh cold air intake, Roosh. a Bama Roosh? tune. Roosh? Roosh? Roosh or Roush or Roosh. <laughs> what else is done to it? Factory Ford Performance exhaust Ooh. and a Bama tune, the 91 race tune. Bama? Yeah. Like Bama. Ala? Alabama. Like Alabama? Yeah, but just Bama. Okay. It just makes it sound better and so, gives it a little bit more response. Is That's the about paint it. shit from the factory or did it get crashed? It got crashed. So this okay. fender, this hood, that fender, and then the top of that door have been repainted but poorly. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the fading. Yeah. It's pretty bad. It's really bad. It kind of matches like the plastics. Yeah, no, it's it's yeah, it's like it's yeah. like a ten-year-old plastic part. Yeah, yeah. that's what. That's right. why I'm gonna change this, and then eventually I'm gonna change these, <laughs> and then the door I'm just gonna wrap. This is quite something. thin. Oh yeah, that's a very thin fender. Yeah. You're gonna hear it. You can hear it wobble and like hit rocks when you're driving it. Huh? <laughs> so it's like chinga dingy. Yeah. What Especially does it make for on power? Bumps. Uh, from factory, 305 horsepower, really? 290-ish torque. Wow. With the good. tune, it says 310, huh. maybe 320. Hmm. And then it bumps the torque to like 300. Wow. Okay. So. Is that bad? It's no. Right. It's, it's, Mustangs aren't the most torquey things in the world. No. They, they, they go. Yeah. Especially the V6. I'm yeah. interested how torquey a V6 feels. Do you know how much it weighs? Uh, 3,400 pounds ish. That's not bad for 310 horsepower. 34, maybe bad. 35. I don't know. Yeah, that's not too bad. I like that. Ooh, does it have a live rear axle? Yes. Oh, so that's really good for killing people. We're gonna find <laughs> shit up today. Hell yeah. Are these the factory wheels? Yes, these okay. are the factory Ford GT wheels right. or replicas of the Ford GT. Okay. Because it did come with the performance pack. Nice. Which means upgraded. Well, that's a little guy. Everything. That's a very tall guy. Yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. think the engine would be like as high as the bulge of the hood. Dude, look how big yeah. the heads are. The heads are wide. Wow. It's probably it's probably dual overhead cam, right? Dual overhead cam, Dude, four, four valves per it's cylinder. It's not a Chevy. It's, it's got, fat. It's got modern technology. Yeah. On it. It's not from 1906. Huh. Oh, and the ABS. I did an ABS delete. Oh no. <laughs> so there's no ABS in the car. <laughs> cool. And I say delete because I, I think I might have fried the ABS module. Oh, how do you do Does that? Does it have electric steering? Yes, but Ooh. it's variable, so you can have comfort, standard, and sport. Oh, and cool. it was in sport all the way up here. Cool. It just weights it differently. Does it have any kind of sport mode button so it gives it a little more? No. No? That was the tune. Oh, that okay. was about it. Okay. Holy shit. Huh. What? Yeah. This? Oh shit, oh, look this. at that. This is where it was hit. Wow. I mean, it's just the support, but the fact that it's not fixed. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't hit it. I just bought it like this. How much, how much you get it for? It. Not much. I think I got it for like six grand. That's not bad. That's no. pretty good. I mean, when you compare it to other stuff with 300 horsepower, six grand, that'll yeah. do Yeah. The only thing I've had done to it, the water pump broke and the fan stopped working. The strut brace came stock with it? Yes, oh, with cool. the performance pack. Cool. And that's about it, huh? 
I yeah, think that's I really all that's want been done. Add a cricket noise. <laughs> that's all that's been done, I think. I think that's about it. And about the interior. Yeah. Oh, the interior is nice. Ooh, I see a fancy shift knob. Yes, it's round. I like the gauges. We've got an RTR Von Gittin Jr. shift knob, and oh, is, it, shit. is it a short throw? You no, know, not yet. Okay. That's coming hopefully in a month. But did you die? What yes. did you die though? <laughs> nice a little leather. Bit of spoiler back here. It looks like a Mustang GT. Sort of. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, it's just, it just this has that, it just has that stamp. Says GT. Yeah. That's oh. it. And it's got a V8. Yeah, that too. What yeah. happened? Oh, I tinted the the tail lights. Oh, good job. Yeah. Looks great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it doesn't look that bad when it's clean. Ah, oh, good Gage sticker. Is huge. Why didn't you buy V8? That's good. Well, let's drive it. Let's go ahead and drive. All right. Weird seating position, first off. Really comfy uh, seats so far. All right. You ready? I'm ready. It's pretty hot outside. Hopefully we stay cool in here. I think we will. Everything looks good. I don't think this car is going to break. Let's see where the clutch bites. Oh, grandma clutch. So it's a proper clutch then. Grandma. <laughs> need to stop. So we said it has 300 horsepower, so it might... It might or three, 310. <laughs> I was expecting like a bunch of engine braking, huh. but you let off and it just goes oh. on the same speed. That's got a good like, whoa. Wow, the back end feels weird. That's a nice sound. Wow. Brakes are good. And this has got a good sound. The seats are kind of slippery, uh, but they're not the I, worst. I, I, they actually have decent bolstering. Crazy, but I'm not it's, really. It's nice. Yeah. I don't know. This is it, this is different. Different, different, way yeah. different. It just doesn't. It feels like it's like a, it's like a whole different car. So we've driven old Mustang, a GT350, and an EcoBoost one. Yeah, no, this, this is not like any of those at all. Oh. No. It's bizarre. And not even driving it yet. I don't. I don't know if I'm going fast or slow. I know! This is, this is probably the most confusing car I've been in. Yeah, this is weird. I don't know what to say. This is an engine brake at all. No? No. Here, I'm going to let off at 5,000. That's oh letting my, off at 5,000. There's no engine braking. We are going the same speed. Huh. That's bizarre. So you have to brake more. I this. really like the way it sounds though. Yeah, it's interesting. Ooh. I downshifted and when I downshifted it sped up. <laughs> this is bizarre. I do. I, I so far I like it. It's weird. I, I, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, I don't like the, the wheel. No. Where I'm holding it, I'm not touching any leather. It's just touching plastic. Huh. And it's like sweaty already. All right, turning radius test. Downshifts in the first. Wow. <laughs> there's no crowd here. <laughs> yeah, there's no crowd to hit. Woo! Wow! In the wow! <laughs> Good driver, you'll you'll take some STI. 
focus STs maybe. Yeah, I mean focus STs are at least are really all about the driver. Yeah. Focus STs are just they're 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 one of those cars that's just about the driver and nothing else. Yeah. Definitely good. definitely a Fiesta car. ST. You'll be up there with Fiesta STs with this and yeah. um, like a like a like a base WRX I think. Good when you look at this for six thousand dollars, oh yeah, that too, yeah. That's that's a that's a steal because even STs are going for like ten now. This feels and good. I'm cooking. This is a solid car for six thousand dollars. I I don't feel like the ass is um is disconnected, which is kind of interesting because it's a straight axle. People talk about the rear end a lot, it's, but it feels it feels like it's there. Yeah. Right? It might not be the most uh, precise rear end. But I know what it's doing. I know exactly what it's doing. Ooh. It sounds like the exhaust is coming out like right under my feet. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So the e-brake is like right here. No, yeah, I hit my wow. elbow on wow. that while trying to get out. So the Corvette is like over here. Yeah. <laughs> interior, let's talk about that since we're not moving. What do you think? I actually like the interior. Everything's all like nice and squishy. The London nice leather wrapped wheel. This is the squishy dash. Yeah, the dash is pretty squishy. Wow, that is, sh that is short. Not like, that's not like, 
not like short, short, but it's short. It's good. I like it. All right, let's have it go. We forgot about that turning radius. Yeah. you got it for it's pretty unbeatable yeah this is you get a good amount of performance for this amount of money yeah this is good yeah and yeah, I'm sure I'm sure there's a huge aftermarket for it oh yeah so yeah so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed yes the little Mustang review yeah yeah the the baby Mustang and we got to drive a GT now yeah to see how it compares because yeah. this was actually really fun so, hope you guys like this one, and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks Subscribe, for watching. like, Subscribe. and uh, bye. Bye.